I'm quite liking this who wins, you decide situation when it comes to the Battle of eBay versus Vinted. And let me tell you something, Vinted has been very kind to me the last couple of days. Welcome to the channel and welcome back if you've been here before. I've got a lot of items that need to go out today. Vinted, eBay and some social media Instagram sales. It's kind of been a weird battle between eBay and Vinted all week. I told you that I'd neglected my eBay store so I'm going to list, list, list. I did that and then... Just sold some items. Funny that, isn't it? I just thought I saw a bird fly above my head, but I'm in the garage. It's really. That's just tripped me out a little bit. I wonder what that was. Uh, lost my trail of thought. Yeah, eBay, I've listed and stuff sold. It's just the way eBay works. And the same with Vinted, of course, I've listed and things have sold. So without waffling on too much, let's just get cracking and show you what sold, first of all, on eBay. I think we've got 17 on Vinted and 9 on eBay. So volume, Vinted wins. Value, I think Vinted still wins. The nine on eBay is a total of 148. Actually, one of them, you've already seen, that's that folding chair. I packed it, just haven't sent it yet. Right, moving straight in. Our friend Joe, who always asks about the BT phones, has just picked one up from me. He has bought the BT Freestyle 1000. I listed it cheap, 24 99 all in, free postage, and he's picked that one up. It owes me four pound. Well, it did, but obviously I sold the other one, which covered the cost of all nine of them. So now this, everything I sell is free. These are really, really good. They're dead stock, never been used. I did mention that you're probably gonna to need to change the internal battery because it's been sat there for ages and it is a bit swollen. But anything BT sealed has a value if you can get it cheap enough. Yeah, that's actually gone to the chap because immediately after he bought it, he sent me a message saying, hi, my name's Joe and I'm looking for the BT Freestyle 100, I think he's after. I really want to complete this task. I've got the Freestyle 200 over there. 12 99 the last Xbox brick. No, it's not. It's the one before the last Xbox 360 power brick from when I went through all of my leads that I've got. I've still got stacks that I need to get through. Jamie has picked up this little cat for Lily. This is from the Anna Club Plus range. I think I paid £2.50 for it. I'm sure of it, I think. Jamie's picked this up for £12.99. So thank you, Jamie, and thank you, Lily. I appreciate you both. The Ikea flower power lamp. This is called the Blom or something like that. Smiler Blommer. I probably just murdered that. Anything like this from Ikea, from their lights range, if you can pick them up for a pound, two pound, buy them. They sell really well and usually really fast. There's the cloud, there's the moon, there's this, there's so many different ones. There's a car. I actually sold the car one from 19.99 for 40 quid. So there's loads of different variations of this. Ikea wall lights, keep an eye out for them. And you can normally pick them up for about a pound-ish. There was a couple at the car boot sale at the weekend, wanted five pound for theirs. I wasn't paying that, unfortunately. By the way, all of this stuff so far, apart from the Anna Club plush, I listed the other day when I said I was listing, along with this DVD player. I paid 10 pound for it. I said I was gonna list this for 23.99 with no offers, and that is it, free postage. I listed it for 24.99, did the same process, no offers, free postage, and it sold within a couple of days or a day. 24.99 all in i've got no coupons running at the moment nothing they're just a little bit of promoted listings i had all my promotions off i turned them back on yesterday at two percent but i've got no coupons running at the moment ah rick the legend rick barrow has picked up the transformers g1 1986 1986 broadside broadside he's picked this up for one two three four twelve pounds thirty four Rick, I massively appreciate you, mate. He's been a good supporter on the channel for a little while now, so Rick, I appreciate that, mate. Matt Ipswich, aka Handpick Stuff on all platforms, has picked up the Soapstone Elephants. They are lovely. Well, I think they're Soapstone. That's what I've marketed them as, anyway. I've had them all out, checked for any breakage on tusks and trunks and legs. Everything's fine. This was part of the bundle that I picked up at the weekend. Matt's picked this up for £12.99, and I do believe he's sending them to his mother's address, so I hope his mother doesn't watch this channel. Thank you, mate. I massively appreciate that. Owes me, what I pay, £15 for everything. So we've done all right there. And I took an offer on these last night. An offer came in for £15 for two packs of the Sea Green Crayola crayons. I've got about 20 packs left of different colours and variants. These two have sold £15 for the pair. I had them listed at £19.99. I said, I'll just take 15 because that's a, that's a nice, not bad. I paid a pound for them, I think, for a big bag. I've got a question. Somebody said, why are these selling for so much? Why are somebody paying so much money for crayons? Because these are just like, these are just old ones. Non-toxic, which obviously most of them are now anyway. Made in the USA, just a nice old, it's even got the colour name printed on there. Just a nice old pack. 
And you have to think about it. I said it before. If you were one of those kids that grew up eating crayons, be a nice blast for the past, wouldn't it? Getting a taste of that back again. There's 12 in a pack, so £15 for 24 snacks. Come on. And that's all for eBay. Moving over to Instagram now. I'm very annoyed because I have to call him by his real name now, which is James. I've been calling him Mark for the last half many months. But James, aka Where There's Muck, There's Brass over on YouTube, has picked up my GoPro 7. It's a bit, it's a few scratches and whatever else on the front, but I've mentioned all that. The screen is absolutely minty because it had a screen protector on the whole time. I peeled that off before I sold it. It's got three batteries, a charging case, and a charging lead. And I am going to see... It's all in there. I am going to see if I can find my housing for it. So I'll send that to him as well. I didn't include it in the listing, but if I find it, James, Mark... I'll send it to you. So, massive shout out to Weathers Muck There's Brass over on YouTube. Please go check him out. He's doing like horizontal stuff and vertical stuff with the Ray Ban glasses and normal style. And he's just doing really, really well. I think the channel's got a lot of potential. £85 I sold that for. All in. Nice and cheap. I'll say it's about, I'll say it's a little bit lower than average with all the batteries and stuff. The average price. And because it's an asset for my business, it was brought through my business, I can't do too much of a deal on it. It wasn't like a flippable item. I actually paid for it from the business. It becomes an asset against the business at that point. If I just flipped it around, then I'm just going to do myself out, really, and I? So, massively appreciate that one, mate. Thank you so much. Moving over to Vinted. Speaking of eBay, yesterday, some little dweeb left me a negative feedback because the item that she bought didn't work on her system, but it worked on her friends, so she gave it to her instead and then decided to come to my profile and leave me negative feedback. Obviously, I wasn't worried about that. A couple of emails back and forward on the live chat and swap nil got it sorted out. Went back into my profile. Gave it a refresh and ta-da, see you later. The automated feedback removal system rejected it and said it's got to stay on there, which obviously I was like, no, you're a robot, shut up, get better. Elon, come and sort these robots out. So then I went on to the live chat. Not email, not Facebook Messenger. This time live chat. Facebook have stopped doing removals. And I was all ready. I was ready for them to say, we can't remove it. And I was going to be like, what are you talking about? You send us all this bullshit about... More seller protection, and then you've got some dweeb saying items fine, not for me, but somebody else's it works. And you're not going to remove it. I had it all planned out in my head. I had the thumbnail ready, I had the script in my head ready, and then swap nil absolutely ruined that. But big yourself up, my man. Even though you're not watching this, but into the universe, got it removed. Off with your stupid reasons, man. Learn how to use eBay, boomer. Right, moving over to Vinted. Got a lot going out actually, quite a lot. Seventeen items. Shane, my man, thank you so much. He bought the Nike long sleeve off me. He has picked up the Shredder pop pin from the weekend for £6 all in. Massively appreciate you, bro. You've been a good supporter recently, so I do appreciate you. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell this one or not, because I don't know if it's a surprise. I'm a little bit stuck. But you haven't said it's a surprise, so I'm going to have to just risk it, I think. Oh, should I do it? I think so. Let me just read this properly. Oh, no, it's for the uncle's Christmas. Bang it, I can speak about it. Yeah, that's no drama then. <laughs> Maggie, the lovely wife of Bam Bam Wiggy Phil, has picked up one of the Star Trek t-shirts. I sold it for £22. Bargains all round. Maggie, Bam Bam Wiggy Phil, and your uncle. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for picking that one up. God, I thought I was about to ruin a Christmas surprise for Mr. Phil then. Appreciate you, Maggie. Gave myself an unnecessary heart attack. Actually, it was £22.22. Eight pounds all in. We've sold the very last, very last, very last amiibo. This is Goomba. Looks like a bell end, doesn't it? Sorry, lowered the tone. <sighs> Sorry to all the bell ends. I actually got a message come through when this one sold and said, Are you the YouTube seller? I said, Yeah, I've got a YouTube channel. Cheers, mate. And I responded with, Yeah, watched a few times. It's you that does the boot fair clearance sometimes and consignment stuff. I said, Yeah, used to, mate. So obviously, Ruben, you've not watched a few of my recent ones because I've long gone from doing that now. But massively appreciate you all the same, Ruben. £8 all in on its way to you. The Goomba, not £8 all in. That's the with me. Sold the plaintiff monkey. I've got to be careful that I don't actually set it off because that would be a nightmare because it doesn't stop for ages. It lasts and farts and all sorts. This sold for £4.44. We got a message saying, Hi, Ricky. I am super happy I managed to get hold of this monkey. I love watching your videos and my daughter Isla really loves monkeys so she will be super happy when she gets this one to add to her collection. So my keys falling out of my pocket. So to you and Isla, I really appreciate you both on its way to you today. Hopefully, 
I can turn it off as a main avoid. That's going to laugh and giggle and fart all the way through to the postal system, isn't it? I uh, paid £3.50, I think, for that and sold it for £4.44. I took a punt. I think I said in the shop I was going to have a little risk on it. But I'll just buy it. Oh, annoyingly, I've got to move the camera. Because this next item is resting on it. We have sold the Transformers board game. The one that I missed went back and got. I originally was asked if I would sell this to somebody and unfortunately my price wasn't right. Their price actually was, but I didn't realise it at the time. I say right. At the time of me buying this, there was one listed for £59.99 and that was it. After I'd released my video, four popped up for between £20 and £25 and obviously the one for £59.99 was still there, so... It's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? The day after my video came up, I reckon everyone just dug theirs out. Anyway, this one has sold for £19.99 and it's going to Ryan. Really appreciate you, mate. He actually sent a message and said, Thanks for uploading this one, Ricky. I watched the video where you missed it first time round and couldn't believe you missed it. Didn't think I'd get my hands on it. Another one for my collection. Cheers, buddy. You are very welcome, mate. And it's in a really, really good clean condition as well. Put that camera back where it should be. On top of the, top of the board game. We're getting there, we're closing in. £6.66 now for a pair of these fridge magnets. They're both the same, Stoke versus Arsenal. Stoke magnets, they're fridge magnets. They are nice and old. Brian said he's a long time viewer and I helped him start his reselling journey. He said one's to open and one's to add to his collection. So spot on, mate. Thank you, Brett, I appreciate that. I think I just called you Ryan a minute ago. The Eagle boots are finally sold. I paid £4 for these. They have gone for £15. I got a lot of help with these. Somebody said, make sure you put mucking out boots and yard boots in the title, which is what I did. So thank you very much for that. And they're sold. 15 quid. Probably could have got a bit more. I'm not greedy. I'm not greedy. Oh, where's that one? I, got... I need to dig that out as well. Some of you will remember this. I paid £10 for this one. Percussion, I think it's Rambouille. I can't see it. Like a shooting gilet. Has pockets for shotgun cartridges and all those kinds of things. I paid £10 for it. Because remember I said I thought it was worth more than what it would be. I took a risk on it. I sold it for £14. Still made £4 profit because it's on vintage, but still, not the kind of business I like to be doing. We finally sold the teddy bear. This one is the House of Nisbet. Just really nice, quite old. This is limited edition. I'll say limited edition. It was number 35 out of 5,000, so relatively limited. But this one's gone to Sharon for five four three five pounds forty three. Massively appreciate you, girl, on its way to you today. For £6.66, we have sold the dice. I paid £3.50 for these and said she was quite a bit more on the higher side, but I thought I'd take a chance on them just in case they were worth like 20 or 30 I couldn't really find a uh, like base price for them, so I listed them on Vinted for, I think, 6 50 or something. And Leslie sent me an offer of £6.66. He said he loves the videos and he's already got the same wooden box with dice in it, so this will go nicely with it. So massively appreciate you, Leslie. We're getting there, we're getting there. The Vans trainers that I picked up the other day for £5. I was in a charity shop and I got them and I was trying to play a guessing game and I went, £15. Five? Sold them for £12 on Vinted. Moved them on. Quick time. Fast, fast, fast. We moved them on. I think they sold the same day, actually. I'm a bit behind on my postage. I'm not so behind that I'm in trouble. Just behind. Oh, everything's still within the postage boundary. £4.44. We've sold the Ultimate Fighter DVD brand new in silver. I think it's Brock Lesnar and... Team De Santos. Team, yeah, Team De Santos. Love the channel, Ricky. Glad I can eventually get something that I'd enjoy to help support you and your business keep up the good work. Luke, massively appreciate that, mate. Thank you so much. Six pound on the PSP. We have sold Monster Hunter. I think the average price of this was about nine pound on eBay that you can get it for at the time. I listed it for seven quid, I think. Got an offer of, no, I listed it for six, six, six. Got an offer of six pound. Big Sexy picked this one up. Massively appreciate it on its way to you today. Boom. Big. Big, sexy, sexy. Disney Princess Bundle. There are tons in here. Like, just change their outfits. You can chop and change. And these ones, you press the button, just where well, you press the dress in, and you can pull the doll out and swap and change her around. I said, I don't know if it's all there. I just listed it for a nice little bundle for somebody to play with. £5.55, and they sold immediately. And they have gone to... Gemma and Gemma actually mentioned something to me. I need to look into this because I have got my shipping settings all changed and weird Thank you, Ricky long time subscriber I can finally buy something from you now as I live on the Isle of Wight and it's not possible to buy from you on eBay Love your videos and I watch you every day Gemma. That is because I use every Religiously Royal Mail used to be really shit for me. 
like getting to and dropping off. But now my post office, I've switched up their model and they're really excited to see me when I go in now because I take about 40 every parcel to the time when I've, when I've got a big weekend. So I am going to start trying to do raw mail again now and I'm going to switch raw mail on and open back up those countries unless it affects under that EC, whatever it's called thing. Because I'm turning off... Listen, I, would, I don't mind if I sell just to my own neighbourhood. If I, if I turn all that compliance stuff off and only let's only sell to the countries that you don't need that, I'll do that. But Gemma, massively appreciate it. Hopefully we can sort that out for you. And everybody else who said the same thing to me. It's just my preferences, unfortunately. That, you know, If it was easy for me to at the time to have just sold via raw mail and it wouldn't have cost loads extra... I would just do it, but you know it's my it's my business and it's got to be what works for me, hasn't it? Really sold the trainers. The lady said to me on the car boot sale, "I think they're fake." My friend sent me a link where I bought them or something like that. And I looked at them. I was like, "No, they're not fake. They're real." And I had comments saying, "If she says they're fake, they're fake. Trust her." I don't need to. They're genuine. There's nothing wrong with them whatsoever. I've looked over every last detail. They are not fake. They are real. So whatever was going on in her mind, whatever happened, she said that someone sent her a link or something like that. She could have been confused because there is nothing wrong with these. They are fantastic. And I paid £5 for them. And I sold them cheap. £30 all in on Vinted. £30. You can get 60 to 70 quid for these pre-owned on Vinted. These have sold to Stace. Thanks so much, Ricky. Could you give me and my daughter Bella a shout out on your show? We both love it. So Stacey and Bella, big shout out to you two. Mummy's got some new shoes. Thank you, guys. God, I think that coffee's kicked in. £3.33 we have sold the lightsaber thing it's literally just that and some sounds but it's a bit of damage just there see that little bit that's sticking up there well that one there is gone three pounds 33 all in and finally last but not least and we have managed to get payment for the hugo boss blazer i showed you the other day that it was actually stuck on payment pending thing which i've never actually seen before and the person reached out to me and said, I don't know what's going on with this. Have you shipped it yet? I said, I'm really sorry I haven't because your payment's still pending. They said, oh, it's happened to me earlier as well. Let me try something. They cancelled the order and said, hopefully I can cancel it and then rebuy it before anybody else buys it. I said, yeah, that'd be fine. Didn't expect it to happen the way that it did. But I can she cancelled it or he cancelled it. I re-uploaded it and BAM! It sold straight away. <laughs> Somebody else got this for £12.12. and pence." all in this person is a new person so i've messaged him a person i said i'm really sorry mate because they messaged me saying i've just tried to rebuy and it's still saying sold and i was like oh that wasn't you i thought it was them that bought it anyway i messaged and told them what happened and they were like no worries it's okay these things happen have a great evening but this sold for 12 pounds 12 pence and then the person buying it decided to buy it and then pay it and then say thanks sorry i forgot to ask any rips or stains on this many thanks I don't know why, but that's a massive gripe of mine. I really appreciate your business if you watch the channel, but ask those questions. Anybody who's... Ask those questions before you buy. Because imagine if I turn around and say, oh yeah, there's a rip on it. And if there was, it'd all be in listing, wouldn't it? Anyway, massively appreciate you for that pickup for the Hugo Boss one. Whoever you are in the world, if you watch, then fantastic. If you don't, then I'm talking to myself. And unless I am being a complete thicko thicko, that is all the sales. Of course I managed to forget a sale. We've sold the Funko Pop Zombie What If to Shazza. Shazza's picked this one up for £7.77. Picked these up from the car boot sale last weekend and they've both gone now. If you'd like to go check out Shazza's vintage page, Shazza1098, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you Shazza so much. Sorry that I forgot to mention it in the actual video, but I'm not going to leave you out. Thank you my darling. So I've been recording for 28 minutes I can see on here. You won't see 28 minutes, but I have. I actually went to the charity shop yesterday and it was abysmal. In fact, take a quick look at what I picked up. I better get that. So I get about £18 for the shirt, which is just over there. And what else was it I picked up? I haven't got access to... Oh, yeah. I get about £18 for the shirt. I should get about £9.99 for Thomas. This is the jungle version. It was 75 pence. And a pound for this maths whiz. One pound, apparently it sells for like 12 to 15. Very VTech talking Einstein-y kind of vibes. This was one pound. Can I get that sticker off without ripping the label? Yeah. I'm guessing it's just some kind of maths quizzy type of gamey computer thing. You know what I mean? So, I've got a lot of packing to do today. I'm gonna to do strictly a sales video with a tiny snippet of charity shopping. Thank you for watching, I do appreciate it. Before you go anywhere, if you want a chance to win Thomas, comment down below and this will be yours. Jungle Thomas, I'm gonna make sure it works, but I'm sure it will be. Thanks for watching, love you, bye.